Get in touch with your breath. Take a good, long, deep in and out breath. Do that a couple times and see how it feels. That's something that's totally your own. No one else can feel it for you. So you're totally free to decide whether you like it or not. But then the next thing to check is to how it has an impact on the long term. To keep breathing that way, how does the body start feeling? So you've got to give it some time. Because these are the two things we're looking at. One, what's happening in the present, and what's the impact that it has over time. It's not just being in the present moment. Otherwise, we could all go out and get lobotomies, and that would be it. But we have to see the connection, what you're doing right now, and if you keep on doing it, what's the long-term result going to be? That's when you really start understanding things. This is why we have to be mindful and have to be alert at the same time. Keeping in mind what we've done, so when the results begin to show, we know what we can change. If you're not clear about what you did, then when you find something you don't like, you don't know what to change. Or if you find something you do like, you don't know what, what to keep doing. So it's a combination of looking at what you're doing and then looking at the results of what you've done. So try to keep your mindfulness as continual as possible. Keep in mind, as the Buddha said, that's what mindfulness is, is remembering what you, what you did and said even a long time ago. So when the results show up, you recognize them. Oh, this is the result of that little seed I planted a long time ago. Now it's blossoming. And when you recognize the connection, and if it was a good seed, then you plant that seed again. If it was a bad seed, you don't do it again. Find other seeds. This is how agriculture developed to begin with. They found out certain plants gave good seeds that were good to eat, gave plants that were good to eat, and so they kept those seeds and planted them again, and then kept on perfecting it until we got the food that we have today. It's the same with your meditation. You're trying to develop good food for the mind. So you've got to look at what kind of seeds you're planting, because that's going to determine what you get to eat.